I have paused the diagnosis because I want to check the APS. The APS, I know the actual fault code. Yeah, Most of this code is related to. It's related to the flexible coupling. Take this screw also out. The two screws. So that you can remove this whole panel. There is a screw here also, which has been taken out already. So you take the 10 here, there's a 10 knot here, then there's two 10 on top, there's two So that you can get space to turn. Then you take this socket also out. Take this turn out. So you take this socket out. So that you can get the fuse box out of the way. Wow. So this is the fuse box. So when you get the fuse box out of the way, then you can get access to the motor. But before, it's a 14 bolt. That's the 14 boot. So you take it out so that you can drop the whole thing. So now I have to take the 14 boot out. So you take the 14 out. After taking the 14 out, you come out here and release, release this tension so that the steering can be moved forward. So when you release it, you push the steering cover forward. Then you come to this side and push, push the EPS. And push the EPS forward so that you can tilt it. So, okay, come. So first, I'll advise you to take out this cover. This is the AC. AC ventilated hose that goes. So when you tilt it this way, now you have access. You have access to the EPS. Then you take out one, two. Then there is the third one. It's a three knot which uses T.
which is T30. T30. Uh, so I'm just examining to see if the flexible coupling is faulty before I will, I will examine the ball joint or the steer rack because this part also can create noises if you don't take care you think it's from the ball joint so first you have to check it first before you can solve the answer This is the damaged flexible coupling. So the flexible coupling is damaged. And this is how it looks like. This is the damaged type. So this is the old one, the one which is damaged, and this is the new one. So if you fix it this how it looks like, then you place you place the motor back. Now you, you place the drill. One here. One here too. So you place in the fourth. So now you start with the fourteen, and now everything is set. Then after that. You lock the steering up. Fuse box back. So you tighten the knots and tighten the boots. Plug in all the sockets. You plug back all the sockets. So if 
fix this case back. If it is a long time, you take out this case. Uh, this is for 2013 model, from 2010 to 2013 model. 2015, 2014, and 16 do not have this case. After fixing this case, they replacing the cover. This cover. When you put in the three screws, one here, one there. So now we are done. Put this cover. Flexible coupling, you calibrate the steering so that the fourth cord will go up. Okay. You turn the ignition on for 15 seconds. Now it's 15 seconds, so you turn on the ignition light, then you click OK. Okay, you go back, 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 and check if the code is still there, it's still active. Now it is a history code, so we will clear the code. That's thousand five eight. Now there is no fourth code in the system. So now I will start the vehicle, and there is no traction light also. <laughs> 